How are you doing, Cali Proud? About a month on from setting myself the challenge of doing five consecutive muscle-ups, I've got to a point where I can do them. And while I'm not particularly happy with the form just yet to mark this challenge as complete, I've still got lots of questions basically asking what training towards a muscle-up looks like. So today, I'm going to go through exactly that. Jumping straight into it, rather than tell you what I did to learn to muscle up, I'm going to show you the five exercises that I use on a regular basis to develop the technique. And for that, we're going to need to take a trip to the garden. Right, small confession. My training methods for the muscle up are a little bit unorthodox. This is because the way I train is part of a push-pull leg split workout. That is to say, one day I'll train pull exercises, then the next day, push, legs, and so on. As the muscle up has both a pulling and a pushing component, I rarely do all the exercises that you're about to see today all within one session. So what I'm gonna walk you through today are the three pulling exercises and the two pushing exercises that I do to facilitate muscle up development, starting with pull ups. I generally aim to focus on pulling up explosively while maintaining a one second eccentric. Now, if you struggle to pull up explosively, try using a resistance band to support you, but make sure you're not letting the band do all the work. Also, even if it doesn't feel like you're moving explosively, as long as the intent is definitely there, you will really reap the benefits. Mentality and intent is so important when it comes to making strength gains. Stand and pull ups where you lead with your chin are great, but they will not really prepare you for transitioning into the muscle up. So instead, what we're looking to do is lead this movement with the chest. The pull-up is an obvious inclusion in any muscle-up program, so I won't dwell on it longer than I have to. On to the next exercise, the single arm inverted row. Having a rounded approach to movement and exploring different pulling directions will only lead to more strength gains. This can be moving from vertical pulling to horizontal, but it can also be as simple as switching the grip on the bar. Why make it a single arm unilateral exercise? Well, if you find yourself wanting to chicken wing when you muscle up, so going over the bar one arm at a time, it's usually because you have one arm that's more dominant. By minimizing that imbalance, we can ensure that one arm isn't carrying the brunt of the load. The last pulling movement is arguably the most important one, the explosive scapular pull up. Anybody that has ever watched sprinters train know that they spend ages perfecting the power to burst out of the blocks. How they get out of the blocks is so important because those first seconds in the sprint is so critical. This is similar to what we want to develop here. The muscle up is primarily a statement of power and if we can generate it from the scapula, so traps and pec minor, and not just from the biceps and lats, we'll be able to be far more explosive in the end range, so that bottom portion of the muscle up. On to the exercises that I do in my push sessions now and I'll start with the most obvious, the straight bar dip. Again, it doesn't take a genius to figure out how these map into muscle-up progression. But I just want to point out three common mistakes that I see with straight bar dips that may be killing your muscle-up gains. First, try to keep your body away from the bar. It's very tempting to lean on the bar as you go up and down. But by not leaning on the bar, this will translate more effectively to clean muscle-up form. Second, hand placement. What you'll probably find is that it's easier to do straight bar dips with a wider grip. But then if I ask you to do a muscle up or even a pull up with such a wide grip, you may struggle. So remember what you're working towards and maintain the grip width that you would use if you had to do a muscle up right now. Third, visualize bending your elbows back and not flaring them out. What you're looking for with this movement is almost like what you'd achieve with a T-bar pushdown in that you really wanna focus on pulling your elbows back behind your body. What this will do is will activate the lats and support the building of strength, the transition from pull up to dip during the muscle up. The final exercise that is a staple in my muscle up routine is the straight bar scapular dip. Similar to the scapular pull up, we want to do this explosively, but these work a little bit differently in that at the top of the muscle up, when you're about to go down into your next rep, you don't turtle your neck, or you shouldn't be in any case. So if you don't turtle your neck during a muscle up, but you need to turtle your neck to do a scapular dip, why have I added these as part of my routine? Well, the lockout at the top is quite important to the muscle up aesthetic, 
But also, we want to ensure that we have those stable shoulders to take us into the next repetition. So, this is basically what my routine is to develop the muscle up. I do layer on other pushing and pulling exercises. If you'd like to see what a push, pull or leg session looks like for me, then feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like as it really, really helps out the channel. And I'll see you next week. Peace.